I thought I'd try out the Moodle. I'd heard about them before, and the Moodle was mentioned in the course introduction. As an experienced computer professional, I mean, how difficult can it be? And what's the tea party the course leader talks about? How do you have a party online and get a drink? It seems like a good idea because what you get out of any class or workshop depends so much on who else is there and what you can learn from them. Ah, what I don't have have the instructions as to how to get onto the Moodle. Dummy. I need to go looking for it. OK. Pause while I go looking. Logging onto Woodbrook's Moodle site. So the first thing I'm going to need is my uh, browser up. And what the <coughs> instructions say is that if I type into the URL line up here, uh, this stuff here, which is HTTP, and it's running away and looking for it. See the progress bar at the top there? And, and it's running away and looking for it. See the progress bar at the top there? And here we have the Woodbrook opening page. And purple is for theology and we have slime green for a popular colour. Coming to a computer session is like coming to a meeting for worship. Come with heart and mind prepared. For meeting I come with the thoughts and experiences of the week. In this case I should have come with the usernames and passwords I needed instead of naively thinking I could wing it. Web, let's have a look in here. Okay, right, my frustration level is climbing. Oh, well, maybe we're up and running. In the Moodle, two or three are gathered together, so it's a meeting for worship. There's me, sitting here. There are the other people somewhere in the Moodle, physically present or sitting in virtual reality. There's the course leader and the technicians who run and support the whole system. Quite a large meeting for worship. Connecting us together is the collection of computers and electronic communication systems we call the web or the internet. That all works on electricity and electromagnetic radiation, what both the scientists and the mystics call light. If you believe in a God who created everything in the Big Bang, and then, create, then he created the electricity and the light that is in the Moodle. Hmm. It's stuck. Yep, everything seems to have frozen. It's 10.30. And my computer speaks to me. Tells me what time it is and I'm about to give up. Okay, let me try turning the Wi-Fi off. There it all goes. And turn it back on again. Oh, okay, we might have it back with a bit of luck. No, it's gone. In meeting one spends, or perhaps is supposed to spend, Lots of time waiting for the light to strike, to reveal some truth or insight. Waiting in meeting is not, in my experience, a matter of sitting placidly with a blank mind waiting for something to happen. It's more a matter of exploring ideas, looking at things from different points of view, nudged, stimulated, confirmed and guided by, local, by vocal ministry. Insights do not come labelled and marked as the word of God. Like other areas of craftsmanship, you have to observe, actively listen and look, without prejudice. Interpret what you observe, consider what it means for me, formulate a response, a vision, a plan, act on it, and go round the loop again. Here I'm looking at the new screen, looking for the things that I expect and for what I don't expect. Does it answer my need and speak to my condition? What am I going to do about it? Press a button, type something in the right place, or decide it's irrelevant and go back to a previous screen. Saying, right, here we go. You can look at my profile settings here, and you can change the password, which is always a good idea. 
um, and you have various security keys that you can set. Uh, I'm just going to edit the profile. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, now it's back. It's got my name up here and stuff about all the technical stuff, most of it you don't need. I put in a name and address, type in what you want. Uh, certain things with the red um, marks and the red stars are required. Mistakes are, are an important part of spiritual experiences and development. A mistake is a disappointment, a frustration, an anger, a challenge. It's an opportunity to be human and exercise our ability to think, create and solve a problem. But of course not everyone sees a mistake this way. Especially if it's someone else's mistake. It's an opportunity to berate, bully, demean and punish. Something was wrong in the uploading of the photo and it was necessary to use a separate application to turn the picture around. I couldn't find any tools or controls on the Moodle to rotate the picture so I went outside, saved a new version of the photo and uploaded it. But then there was a problem of how to get rid of the first one. Again, no obvious tools. I ended up by deleting the first photo and then uploading the new one. What I hadn't realised was that I didn't have to do a lot of that because there was already a version of the photo round the right way and all I needed to do was upload it. This will, the tags are important because it's, other people will search on these sorts of things. So what am I going to put in here? I'm a Quaker. Separated by a comma, so a comma. And I'm a furniture restorer. Furniture. Lots of other stuff, lots of IDs. I tend not to put in other IDs because you never know, you know, there's, there's never quite sure who's getting hold of that information. So it's a little bit careful. Okay, error. So, got tags, I've got photograph, picture, um, another picture that's up there. I've put in just a few things about me, my involvement in this particular course. So, I've updated all of that. That seems to be okay. But, aha, I have to put, press the button at the bottom, update the profile. We are often afraid to make a mistake because of the consequences of our actions and the cost in lives and money. Sometimes this is a well-founded fear. But with modern computers, it's quite difficult for a reasonably well-behaved, well-intentioned explorer to do any lasting or serious damage. Oh, there's participants. There are the participants. So let's have a look who else is on here. <laughs> and we're slowed down again. <sighs> okay. Uh-huh. Aha. Good. So here we can see some of the people who are on the, there are 17 participants on the course, which is kind of handy. And you've got an idea of where they're from, all over the country. 
and some people have not hooked in yet but you have a little picture over here and that's kind of important it looks like okay there I am up at the top and you can see my head has been cut off which is kind of neat right you can probably go click on these to find information about each of these people oh how to email her when she was last on role of course leader and some courses here okay so a little bit about who they who person is and where they're coming from there are some handouts here we go rather handling useful okay now the one that we need for um, for this first week is where am I from template so let's have a look at that ah and it's being downloaded to my computer so we can look at that later okay click on the arrows on the right to turn the pages so we'll go over here turn these pages let's have a look at this gallery for sharing that's the next thing we're still here and I tried this before there was nothing there to share maybe there is now it's a great mistake to assume that so-called experts get things right first time and produce for flawless performances working with many experts in many and varied crafts over the decades has convinced me that right first time is a myth propagated by the same self-serving reasons as the bludgeon of sin there we go we shall stop in a few minutes and go and do that thing so what ah tea party right okay so what is a tea party place to chat grab a cup or whatever you like and join us okay well I don't have my coffee right now but there we go we shall stop in a few minutes and go and do that thing so well, right nothing else to do I've been around everywhere I have not found out how to upload a picture to the gallery but putting them on Flickr is fairly straightforward so stop end of story Live adventurously, walk cheerfully over the Moodle and answer that of God in those that you meet there.